Hello, this is just a quick demo of me running OpenSUSE Tumbleweed on a Raspberry Pi 3. So uh, first I'm going to show you here, I'm going to log into my Raspberry Pi 3. And here you see I've just logged in. And just to show you that it is running OpenSUSE. There you have it. Here it says OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, which is the rolling release of OpenSUSE. And the version is, well, the version of a few days ago. And it has a new kernel, very recent. As you can see, I'm running the kernel default. And you can see here that the architecture is iArch64 and as you can see this processor in the Raspberry Pi has four kernels has four uh, cores excuse me at the moment they're not doing anything and you can also show that by um, uh, checking the CPU info as I'm doing right here. You can see the four cores. Okay, we're going to uh, the internet now with the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I have a connection to the internet to OpenSUSE. And to update the system, I will become root. These are the repositories that I have enabled at the moment. You can see the URLs in the final column. And I'm now starting the uh, update process. Zipper up. And it just shows me the different packages that will be updated. As you can see, I'm getting two new kernels the very very latest the 4.8 but also the 4.4 kernel which is default but i've upgraded the kernel i'm using here the undocumented v parameter and you can see i'm getting a new tumbleweed snapshot from 1104 to 1108 and just some interesting facts in this update is also some wayland updates and probably more interesting there is a MESA update from 12 to 13. I'm not running X on this tom on this uh, Raspberry Pi, so it's not that interesting. And you can see two new kernels that are going to be installed. Why two kernels? Well, I'll show you here. When you install Tumbleweed, you get the 4.4 kernel, and you can either update the kernel or not. I have updated it, but the old kernel is still there, so I have two kernels. And when grub starts, when the computer starts and I get a grub, uh, I can choose between those two. But both of them are getting a new kernel in the updates, as you can see. Here I'm starting the update, and that's a very long and boring process. So I am uh, not showing you that. Take several minutes, I've edited it out. Here is the end of the update process. And my new kernel has just been installed, as you can see. And, well, that was just a, a quick demo of my Raspberry Pi. There is a one thing that is still open during after the update. And, as you can see, just showing you the kernels. I now have four kernels. I'm going to show you better by sorting them. As you can see, I have an update of the 4.4 kernel and I have an update of the 4.8.6 kernel. So, that was all. Just a quick demo of me running some updates on my Raspberry Pi 3, just to demonstrate that OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is able to run on the Raspberry Pi 3. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you can try it out for yourself. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.